A tough afternoon for the VMI football team as they fall to Western Carolina at Foster Stadium here on the first weekend of November. Final score, Western Carolina 43, VMI 35. The Kedats, who led the SoCon in turnover margin with a plus nine, a very uncharacteristic five turnovers today, including four fumbles lost, certainly a big factor in the game, and it uh, spoiled an effort by Re Alex Ramsey, who placed his fifth 100-yard rushing game of the year three touchdowns and that makes him the all-time leader in rushing touchdowns now 20 on the season eclipsing the mark set by Thomas Haskins in 1995 for the Western Carolina Catamounts Donovan Spencer also a hundred yard rushing game as he finishes with 137 yards and two touchdowns and Tyree Adams 13 of 21 running the show for the Western Carolina offense and he had three touchdown passes once again Western Carolina defeats VMI 43-35. And now, post-game quotes from VMI head football coach, Scott Wackenheim. First of all, you know, as always, you gotta give credit to uh, the Western Carolina Catamounts. Uh, coach Spear did an excellent job getting his team ready to win their first SoCon game of the year. Uh, their team, you know, didn't give up, they fought hard. And, uh, you know, that's a credit to Coach Spear and his coaching staff and, and the young men at Western Carolina uh, to stay true to each other and, and fight as hard as they did to win the game. Uh, you know, we didn't execute uh, at our best level this year. Uh, we turned the ball over at a higher rate. Um, and, uh, you know, they converted a lot of third and fourth downs against us to maintain possession of the ball. Uh, you know, had the ball for a long period of time, time of possession, snapped a lot of plays against us. You know, the, the lack of execution, you know, falls squarely. I need to do a better job coaching. Uh, first time really coaching a team that was a favorite going into the game. Uh, first time coaching a team that, uh, you know, making them understand the hunger of the opponent, you know, they were like us uh, the last two years trying to get their first SoCon win. And we got to understand that the opponent you see on tape is going to be much more motivated and, and play at a much higher level than you see on tape. So that squarely, you know, falls on, on my shoulders. And, you know, the lack of execution means that in the open week, we needed to prepare in a better manner. And again, uh, the preparation of the team falls, you know, solely on me. Uh, I don't want to take anything away uh, from what Western Carolina did. I thought they came in here and had an excellent game plan and execute well against us. But uh, I want to squarely uh, say that I need to do a better job preparing this football team to play a game under, the, under these circumstances. You know, we're going to keep fighting to the end. Also, one of our uh, core values is grit, which is resilience and to fight to the end. So, you know, I think anytime you're down two scores, you're in any game, you know, you can score and kick the onside kick. And, you know, maybe I should have kicked the onside kick the last play of the game. But I thought our defense would stop them, you know, with three minutes to go the game, two timeouts. I thought we could stop them. And, you know, we almost did, uh, but we didn't. And again, you know, Western Carolina found a way to make one more play and win the ball game. Well, it's back to the road for the VMI Kedats over the next two weeks, starting next Saturday at Furman as VMI takes on the Paladins at Paladin Stadium in Greenville, South Carolina. The kickoff will be 1 p.m. The game will be televised by ESPN+.